Yeah, hello everyone and welcome back to the walkthrough. We're going back to the girls' side. It's gonna be awesome. We're gonna go shopping, get our nails done. It will... Oh, this doesn't look like what I was expect... Oh, dang it. Well, that just ruined my plans. Oh, man. If you didn't notice the, um, the Z-side, uh, missions here, they are attached to other missions via those little lines. Those indicate where in this timeline these operations take place. They sort of tie certain things together, so to speak. Just thought I would point that out. I don't believe I've already done that yet in the walkthrough. <laughs> At least I don't remember that I did. As I said, I don't remember what I was talking about before in the other parts that I made like months ago. <laughs> so yeah, I just thought I would make another mention of that if I m did mention it before. If not, then there you go. <laughs> anyway, we got some kiriaki. This is gonna be easy. Maybe. <laughs> Actually, there's a little twist here going on. Um, well, you'll see as we get into it. Th there... I really want to say it... Well, you'll see it. Because <laughs> um, I, I like to prepare you as you're going along so that you can like understand what I am preparing for. <laughs> But anyway, let's just do it. Let's operate. So, we got our basic opening. Oh yeah, diagonal cut for the win this time. <laughs> uh -huh. uh, get the vitals up. We got Kiriaki. And there we go. Get them. I want the third. There we go. No, 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 no. Do not evade my... Come on, no. <laughs> Do not evade my sonar, guys. <laughs> yeah, I know it's an ultrasound, but... Uh, actually, I, I could call it a sonar anyway, because that's what Norton Antivirus calls things, and these are sort of like a virus. No, actually, they're more of a disease of sorts. Oh, hey, wait, these take three hits? Huh. <laughs> uh, I guess they're a, a little... A slightly more souped-up version of Kiriaki. Uh, 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 and... Get ready for... Oh, no! <laughs> These are the blue Savato, and it dropped the vitals down to 36. So I guess the the cap for th when three are out are 36, when two are out it's 50, and when one is out it's 75, or maybe it's, it's 76. I don't know, 36 is a... Uh, pretty odd number here. Well, in this operation, you have to keep these critters alive, and that's what you kind of have to prepare for, so to speak, is the fact that you have to uh, intelligently kill the remaining Kiriaki in this operation from here on out, because you can't laser those blue critters. You, they need to collect a sample of them. So, they're preparing the stuff, and I gotta keep the patient alive with the vital cap of 36. So it's a pretty nice twist to this operation. And, man, I guess I didn't really have to say that ahead of time to prepare you for it, because it's, you know, there's the whole cutscene fiasco there. And there's a couple more Kiriakis. Uh, 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 uh. No, 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 I don't think so. I refuse to let the patient die. So I'm going to get those vitals back up, and I, I actually want want one more cut on here, please. Thank you. Just so I can, yeah, there we go. <laughs> oh no, no, I, I didn't mean to. I did. I, nothing happened. You seen nothing. <laughs> and get ready. Cut it out. You know the drill. Get that closed quickly. <laughs> I think there's only uh, the mature Kiriaki in here. I don't think there's any other ones. I'm not seeing any other ones here, so I, I should just be able to safely do my combo. Actually, I can't do my combo attack here because I can't get the vitals up uh, high enough. Alright, so I'll just do it the slow way and hopefully not touch the blue ones. <laughs> the little Savatos. Now I should raise it a little. Oh, no, 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 no. I want... There we go. I'm, I think I'm being a little bit too careful here, to be honest. And there we go. And now he's going to give me this black syringe of stuff. This might actually be referring to the... Um, 
Well, no, wait, it's actually grayish. Never mind. What I was, I was, I was thinking that was the black stuff that killed the mature Savato. Anyway, inject it. Grab with the force ups. Plop it into the tray. Just wait till they stop before you try injecting it, because you know you can't move your syringe as you're injecting something. Obviously, uh, that would be pretty painful, actually, if a syringe, you know, as they're injecting it into you, someone decided decided to move it sideways. <laughs> Yeah, that wouldn't be too pretty. Anyway, you know the drill. I get kind of tired of closing up and opening the patient sometimes, to be honest. Because it's like, let's just get to the action here and let's just finish it off. But at the same time, it does have a certain air to it. Like, it is the beginning of something that you're unsure of what you're getting yourself into and the end of which you want to finish strong and not screw up. You know, it's like a tension moment either way. So I, I guess it makes sense, but at the same time, when you get used to them, it's like, uh. <laughs> Yeah, that doesn't sound too good if you ask me, but that's just how things are rolling, I suppose, at this facility. If you don't realize, this is the facility that uh, we encountered uh, Savato for the first time, and you know, we, we raided the place as well, so you get the idea, and unfortunately, they are parting ways. <sighs> kind of sad that she's losing her assistant, but this is the last Z mission in the game, so I guess this is all gonna work out well. <laughs> Let's continue on with the story. Now we're gonna move over to, yep, chapter six. This occurs after the end events of the first Trauma Center game. You know, the game that this this is a remake of. This is sort of going to catch you up on the storyline that you missed. Um, the, the patients that you would normally have to operate on at this portion of the game would actually be these kids. You see, they actually uh, cultivate the guilt inside these kids to spread across the world, and these kids are known as sinners for whatever reason. I don't understand where they got that name from, but uh, there you go. <laughs> I mean, it's obviously not the kids' fault that they're being used as, you know, cultivating material, but yeah. This is what they're describing right now. It's a pretty morbid story, I have to say. Even more more morbid than uh, Savato itself. It's like, you. Why would you have to use kids? I mean, come on, man. I uh, don't really have much to say about this as it's pretty much explaining itself and I explained it before it even popped up on the screen, but yeah, gotta show this anyway. This was actually the part of the reason why I uh, uh, stopped doing this walkthrough for a while was because I couldn't, I sometimes couldn't find the commentary for cutscenes like this. It's, it's not, that, but that's, I kind of like had the wrong attitude so to speak. Like, it's not bad that I couldn't find any commentary, it's just that there wasn't anything to really talk about. <laughs> Everything was, you know, being explained on screen, so I just didn't really have much to say about it, unless, you know, I was, like, clarifying or something. So, yeah, it looks like uh, Angie's dad, uh, Blackwell, is, uh, now working on the side of good, and uh, he will be spending his time in jail anyway. <laughs> but that makes a lot of sense given what he's done, so yeah. Mmm, deliciousness. I'm actually kind of hungry now. <laughs> Perhaps I should have eaten to get some energy for the upcoming operations. Yeah, there's quite a bit more to the game 
that I should say that was added to the original uh, Trauma Center game. I think this is, or I should say it was added, well, maybe it was added to bridge the gap between uh, Trauma Center, I mean this one, Trauma Center Second Opinion, and it's what it's remade off of the first Trauma Center game, to bridge the gap between this and Trauma Center 2. I think, I, I could be wrong though. I don't want to spoil anything in Trauma Center 2, but some of the events that they talk about uh, lead up to some of the stuff talked about in Trauma Center 2, so that's why I think it's a slight connection to that game. Maybe that's why they remade it, because they had an idea for a storyline in Trauma Center 2, and they were like, hmm, well there's this gap here, we gotta fill this somehow. Oh, let's remake the first game. <laughs> I don't know if that was their intention, but I'm just coming to random conclusions here as I'm thinking about stuff. And next story sequence! Caduceus, you're up. We are already traveling all around the world in just a few seconds. <laughs> Look at me go! I am a little pawn from a game of chess. Actually, what? It looks just like a little person icon, not so much a pawn though. I'm just kind of making things up as I go here. Gotta fill the voids here of silence. <laughs> it's what I do. Oh, you're welcome. Yeah, she has a pretty good assistant, unlike Navi. <laughs> Though she does interrupt sometimes and messes up my rhythm. But at the same time, if it wasn't for her, I wouldn't be able to switch tools and plop things into trays quite as fast. Nice to meet you. Hey, hey. Don't, don't, don't imitate me. Hey. <laughs> Hate when people do that. <laughs> okay, I'm being overly dramatic here and oh, faking anger. Completely unnecessary. <laughs> I like that very much, and we have to go to a different building to fill to be filled in. Come on, now that's ridiculous. You'll see there's a bunch of people in those tubes over there. There's also their regenerative treatments in quotation marks, and apparently they are exceptionally good, which is great. That place does look pretty advanced, I have to say. There's, I mean, there's even a computer at each one of those uh, um, water tanks or whatever the heck those people are in. It's probably some sort of, like, I don't know, synthetic gel or something like that. <laughs> but just, just look at how expensive that room must be to make. <laughs> it's just loaded with technology. But hey, it's for the good of mankind. You can't complain. You can't put a price on life. And now we are meeting face to face with our girly counterpart here. I, I, I can't, I know, I can't understand that. Well, that doesn't mean I can speak it. Uh-oh. And it goes on. All these doctors must feel it's like a never-ending battle against the guilt. <laughs> I mean, seriously. Anyway, now we can actually do an operation! Yahoo! Unless, you know, you skipped ahead to this using the timestamps in the description. <laughs> Otherwise, you didn't have to wait that long.
32 hours. How did he know it has been that long already? Is that when they just like started monitoring it? It's not like you can tell exactly at the moment that someone contracts a disease. <laughs> We got some Tatarti, and this is an actual improvement on the Tatarti, even though Tatarti is still one of the easiest guilt ever. Um, they've got this version of Tatarti, they've got some sort of like frenzy mode, so to speak. It's like they appear colorless, and then they start spewing out toxic gas all over the place while you try to uh, inject them with the uh, color coded vials. Well, um, they're, they're moving quite aggressively at that point as well, and you can tell their colors apart quite easily just by the gas that they're spewing out. So it's not, it doesn't really make it too much harder, it's just that it's more aggressive and makes it easier for you to miss. So this might cause a little bit of issue, but remember, never ever take guesses at Tatarti. Make sure you've always got the correct one as you're injecting it into it. Because if you make a mistake, it's going to make those annoying colored tumors. And then, well, it's going to waste a lot of time, a lot of vitals. And look at that. This is their frenzied mode there. And as you can tell by their colors, it's very easy to tell them apart. Just do it quickly and you won't have much trouble whatsoever. Although this is one of those times that Angie really, really interrupts you and it's quite annoying. <laughs> Oh, whoa, 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 no, no, I just, I hate when they do that, li like, like when they dash off to the side just as you're about to press the button, and what happens is that uh, they turn just out of the way of your needle, and then you end up injecting it into the organ. Angie, why are you asking what is that? You've just seen this. <laughs> and it seems like Derek's not feeling too well. Maybe he's just stressed out or something like that. Oh, no, no, no. Actually, you know what, I'm going to... Take the time to keep the vitals up here. Just uh, relax. That, this actually doesn't take much off the vitals. Look how slowly they're going down. Just raising the vitals normally like this. Come on, just go back into the body, please. Or are you just gonna sit out while I do things? Oh, never mind. <laughs> fine, fine, I'll just... Yeah, I guess these guys just keep going and going and going until you inject them. Uh, mm -hmm. No, oh, 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 that was a near disaster there. Uh, 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 there we go. Wait, wait, wait. Oh, I, there's, they don't stay stunned for, for too long. That's the trick here. I didn't notice that before. Maybe because I was always fast enough. Or I forgot. I don't know. <laughs> anyway, let's do this for real. Yeah, there we go. Defeated. And I got a lot of misses there. So this rank is going to be horrendous. And... Ah, that's good enough. It's just like four zigzag. It's like there's there's a full on line. Why did I do that? <laughs> and it was like I instinctively went to the gel, and then then I instinctively went over to the bandage. Ah, whatever. I don't care. This was a bad rank anyway. Yeah, whatever. All right, let's see what's going. Uh oh. Derek is not looking too good. Oh my. I hope he didn't fall on any sharp utensils. That sounded like he dropped on something sharp. Uh oh. Dun dun dun. <laughs> I already did that once and once before, I just had to do that again. Well, I'm going to end off this part here. It's gone on long enough. I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you in the next part.